Welcome to Java and Selenium training guys. So, so far we have covered uh, <coughs> functions in Java and static and non-static functions and how to call them, what is the concept of object, okay, what exactly object references and all those things. Sometimes they might ask at a time of interview and it's really important to uh, know this particular concept also that what is call by reference or call by value, okay. So some people say that yes, call by reference is not possible in Java. But no, this is a wrong concept. Yes, call by reference is possible in Java. Okay. In C and C in C language, we used to do that call by references by uh, pointers. But in Java, we don't have any pointers. So how to achieve call by reference and call by value in Java? Okay. So let me create a class. And the class name is let's see. call by value and call by reference okay select the main method and click on finish what I'll do we will do this particular thing simple first see we create one method very simple method let's see public void that example we have already seen third type of factory we give some input and we will get some output okay so let's see one method is there public void and uh, test some method is there okay and simple i'll write uh, in this particular int sum i'll pass two variables int a comma int b okay and i'll do one thing int c is equal to a plus b and this method should return c okay so instead of white i have to write int because return is returning c and c is integer so i should write int over Okay, so if you if you want to call this method, obviously you have to create the object. So this is the class obj is equal to new class and then okay, so obj is a reference. By using this object reference, we can call obj dot test sum method, right? And we have to pass two things. Let's see, I'm passing 10 comma 20. Okay, 10 comma 20. Now what will happen? 10 comma 20 what will happen 10 will be given to a and 20 will be given to b but the thing is here is what will happen the value of a is equal to 10 the value of b equal to 20 it means a copy of 10 and 20 okay the copy of 10 and 20 will be given to a and b always remember okay if you are passing like this i'll create two variables int x is equal to 10 Okay, comma, colon, and int y is equal to 20. And you are passing x and y. Okay, we are passing x, comma, y. It means you are passing value of x and y. So x will be given to a, y will be given to b. Okay, but the only one copy, okay, one photocopy, one duplicate, okay, one duplicate copy will be given to a and b. Okay, so what is the value of a? a is equal to 10 b equal to 20 c equal to 30 it means this is called call by value okay call by value or pass by value call by or better i'll write here you are calling this particular method call by value or pass by value you are passing some values okay in call by value and pass by value okay the value of x and y the copy of x and y will be given to a and b always remember okay not the original value Okay, if you are making changes here, let's see a equal to 30 now and uh, b is equal to 40. Okay, so now the value of right now here, the value of a and b is x equal to 10 and y equal to 20. We are passing a equal to 10 and y equal to and b equal to 20. Okay, 10 and 20. But again, you are changing the value here a equal to 30 and b equal to 40. Now it will Take the calculation on the basis of the latest value of a and b so equal to c is equal to 70 okay but it will not affect any thing inside the x and y value okay the x and y value will remain same why because we are just passing the copy okay we are just passing the photocopy if you are making changes in the photocopy it will not affect the original copy. okay so it will not make any changes inside the x and y value okay okay so this is called call by value or pass by value we are just passing okay the copy of okay copy of 
the arguments, the copy of input parameters we are passing. Okay, so this is called call by value simple. We are passing parameters to a function to call them. That's it. This is called call by value. Now, what is call by reference? Let's see. I'll create uh, one method public void, and uh, my function name is let's see swap swap function. Okay, to swap two entities. And what I'll do inside this swap function, but before that, I'll do one thing. I'll create. I've already created the object of this particular okay class. So what I'll do, I'll do one thing. I'll declare two global variables, okay, like this. Int let's see uh, p and uh, int q, okay. Int p and int q, and I'll give some value. So how to give some value? Because these are non-static variables. So obj dot p I'll give. Uh, let's see 50 and obj dot q and give 60 right why because these are non-static variables non-static global variables so i have to give i have to access them or i have to initiate i have to declare i mean i have to initialize them by using the object reference okay because these are non-static so what is the value of p and q now 50 and 60 so what will happen uh Okay, let me show you one diagram. So what will happen? Let me open the screen brush again. So due to creating the object, one object will be created, okay, inside the memory. And what will happen? Int P and Q, okay, P and Q will be given to this particular P, okay, and Q will be given to this particular object but we are declaring obj.p and the name of this object is obj okay name of this object is obj so we are giving obj.p equal to 50 obj.q equal to 60 okay so 50 and 60 will be given to respective variable p is equal to 50 and q is equal to 60 so right p equal to 50 and q equal to 60 now if you want to access <coughs> Okay, now what will happen? I'll create this swap function and inside the swap function, I'll pass, okay, I'll pass the reference variable of, see, try to understand, I'll pass the reference variable of this particular class. This is my class and T is the reference variable, that's it. And what will I'll do? I'll do one thing, I'll call this particular function. Okay, so how to call, let's see, uh, this is my function obj dot test okay obj dot uh, swap function okay obj dot swap and i'll pass obj okay i'll pass this reference because this is reference because in swap function it's getting reference only right so obviously i have to pass reference i cannot pass any 10 20 why because i'm getting t here okay t is what the class reference so obviously i have to pass class reference here so I'm passing the object reference to this particular swap function. Okay, so obj will be given to this particular t, right? So right now obj is referring. Now I have written what, what exactly? obj will be given to t. So what is t? t equal to obj now, right? Because the value of obj will be given to t, right? So t is also referring, right? t is, t is also referring this particular object. So this is t. And T now will also refer this particular object. And OBJ is also referring this particular object. Right? So this particular object having two references. OBJ and T. Okay? OBJ and T. Right? Because OBJ, we are passing this particular uh, object, OBJ reference to this particular method. And this particular method having one input parameter called by this particular class name. And T is a reference variable. So obj will be given to t. So t equal to obj, it means t is also referring this particular object. Now I can use this t. So I'll do one thing that, uh, okay, I'll create one temp variable. Let's see, because I need to swap. So I have to use third variable. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll write like this temp is equal to, uh, I'll use t dot x. Okay, or t dot p, not x, sorry, because 
t dot p it means t dot p equal to 50 right so 50 will be given to temp so what is the value of temp here temp equal to 50 here right and then i'll do t dot p okay is equal to t dot q right so t dot q is t dot q is 60 so 60 will be given to t dot p so what is the value of t dot p is equal to 60 right so p is now 60 and we have to swap it so that means right now p equal to 50 and q equal to 60 but i want p equal to 60 and q equal to 50 right so and what i'll do uh, t dot q is equal to temp simple now what is the value of temp temp is 50 so 50 will be given to q okay so ultimately t dot q is equal to 50 the swapping is done right the swap is done now what exactly it will do by using this t now what is the latest value of p p is 60 now okay so instead of 50 now the value of p is 60 okay and the value of q is 50 because we have swapped it by using third variable okay 50 so p equal to 60 and q equal to 50 right so what i'll do i'll call this particular function obj dot swap equal to obj okay now what i'll do i'll simply write system dot out dot print and now i try to print obj dot p and system dot out dot print and then obj dot q now this object will try to access p okay so obj dot p will be 60 and obj dot q will be 50 because swapping is done now okay but right now obj dot p equal to 50 and obj dot q equal to 60 right so let me okay so after swap okay after swap the value of before swap value of p equal to 50 and q equal to 60 so let's see after swap p should be 60 and q should be 50 so let's run it run as java application okay so p is equal to p is 60 and q is equal to 50 so swapping is done so this is called call by reference okay this is called call by reference call by reference okay it's not very straightforward okay but in call by reference means we are passing the value of object reference this is called call by reference and it's possible in java like this because we don't have any pointers in c <clears throat> the location pointers are called pointers okay the address of that particular uh, address of that particular variable okay integer i equal to 10 okay so the address of that particular location is called pointers but here we have object references okay because inside the object we have number of variables so we are passing object references so that is called pass by reference or call by reference okay so this is called call by value and call by reference very important interview question they might ask okay especially for freshers and uh, three to four years experience guy they might ask at the time of interview what is, what is the difference between call by value and call by reference is it possible call by reference in java yes by using object references we have to pass the object references okay so just please go through it it's very simple try to understand okay why we are how exactly we are passing t don't pass any other variable because we have to pass obj only obj is a reference we have to pass reference to reference okay thank you